Hey everyone, welcome back to T Accounts. So in the last video, we discussed that what actually depreciation is and why do businesses need to charge depreciation and the answer was that in order to follow prudence and matching concept. Right. So in this video, we'll be discussing that why do assets actually depreciate? That is what are the reasons behind assets being depreciating? So basically, there are four main reasons. For one of them is the physical deterioration of the non-current asset, secondly because of time, thirdly because of some economic factors and lastly because of depletion. Now let's understand these reasons one by one so that you get a clear idea that what actually comes under these reasons. Right now the first one is the physical deterioration of the non-current asset. Now what we can say under physical deterioration, all those factors that leads towards the damages or uh, towards the destruction of your non-current asset that is the physical appearance of your non-current asset all these factors will come under the physical deterioration right so uh, your asset can physically wear and tear for instance if there is a damage in your non-current asset or there is some accident in the premises that can change the condition of your non-current asset right and what uh, assets can come under this machinery that is being used in the premises, motor vehicles or some other equipment. Now what else can come under physical damage of the non-current asset? If the business is such that it is of farming, right, let's say agricultural business, then a very important non-current asset that that business will hold will be its land, right. Of course, the crops, the, the vegetables or something else will be grown on that land. So, so the business will be highly dependent on that land, on the condition of that land. Now, it can also get damaged because of the erosion on the land, right? Either because of rain or because of wind or some soil particles, etc., etc. Similarly, if the business holds some wooden furniture, right, using it in its premises, some wooden furniture, then it can get damaged because of the rot that wood will attract, right? So, this will again decrease the value of that non-current asset. And lastly, if of course, a very important material that is used in machinery is metal, right? So that metal can get damaged or destroyed or it can just uh, decrease in its value if it attracts rust, right? So all these factors, wear and tear, erosion of the land, uh, wooden furniture getting rotten or the rusting in the metal will come in the under your physical deterioration of the non-current assets, right? And if I explain you these very quickly with the help of some pictures, so you can see that the heavy machinery such as the, the lifters, the handlers, the bulldozers, tractors, trucks, etc., etc., that are used in the businesses, they do get physically deteriorated with the use, with the passage of time, with the change in environmental conditions, right? As you can see in these pictures. Similarly, if the business is using some wooden tables, or wooden buildings, wooden furniture, then it can also get damaged. And lastly, if the business holds some part of the land, then it can also get damaged because of the rain or the change in environmental patterns, uh, big soil condition, water, sand, etc., etc., right? So this is all about physical deterioration of the non-current acid. Let's move to our next factor and that is economic factors, right? So what we can cover under economic factors? We can cover two things. First of them is obsolescence, right? Now what comes in obsolescence? In very easy and simple words, obsolescence means that now your non-current asset has become outdated. What can this mean? This means that it has been replaced. The non-current asset that you were using previously is now being replaced with new technology or let's say more advanced non-current assets or advanced gadgets, right? And what could be the reasons? There could be two reasons, either because the company sees, the business sees that there are some cost savings by moving or by shifting towards a more technologically advanced uh, asset or if the business sees that that asset is more environmentally friendly. As you can see in this in these pictures that now mostly businesses have shifted towards a more technologically advanced set of gadgets, right? Highly less businesses still use these types of monitors, CPUs and computer systems. They have now shifted more towards laptops, iPads, phones that is just more advanced technology. Hmm? Now since this type of non-current asset has become outdated, 
so it could be one of the reasons behind replacing such assets and that is how it contributes towards the depreciation of those of, of those class of non current assets in which the technology as is, is highly changing right changing rapidly so one of the reasons of assets being depreciating is because they belong to that class in which they become outdated very quickly secondly if the business finds that after shifting towards a more environmental friendly non current assets or gadgets uh, it can attract more customers or it can lead to more cost savings let's say or if the, the those assets are more energy efficient then of course it is a benefit and why don't businesses want to do that right so similarly if the business finds that the green technology now offers more better computers or monitors or led bulbs smart sockets energy saving chargers better ways to produce energy such as solar systems wind turbines etc then of course they would want to shift towards such green product so this is all about obsolescence now let's move towards the next thing that also comes in economic factors and that is inadequacy now what is inadequacy it simply means that an asset is no longer needed in the business now why can that happen it can happen because for instance let's suppose that the business uh, now wants to produce more right because there is an increase in demand but it cannot do that if it still employs the same non current assets right in simple words you can say that it doesn't have the capacity to produce more by using the same non current asset let's understand this through an example for instance there is a business which owns these two ovens in order to deliver pizzas to their customers right and since it was a very small business that is why it just owned two ovens and this was enough for that business right so this means that it can only bake two pizzas at a time right but let's suppose that after 6 months of its establishment the business grows rapidly that is it sees an increase in its demand and now they have got no option but to increase its production capacity now do you think that it can still do that if it still employs that th- these two ovens would it satisfy the increasing demands of its customers no it cannot do that right if it still employs this non current asset in order to deliver pizzas then it would waste a lot of time of the customers and then they might switch to their competitors so now over here the problem is not in these ovens so the ovens are fine the non current asset is doing fine but just because the business has now expanded it has grown so then it would prefer towards moving towards a more larger size machinery that can produce more saves time and saves costs as well right and mostly importantly that it satisfies the demands of the customers right by producing more and on time right so this is one of the reasons that can also come in economic factors that just because the business size has increased it has expanded it has grown so then also they might want to shift towards a larger or mass production type of machinery right so we are done with two factors physical deterioration and economic factors let's move to the third factor which is time right but before moving to the third factor please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on all the important videos that i'll be posting on my channel hmm? now let's move to the third factor which is time now of course both of the factors that we have just covered above that is physical deterioration and the economic factors also includes uh, the, the 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 depreciation that is happening because of time right of course with time the assets get obsolete of course with time the condition of your non current assets gets changed right but one important thing that also comes under time factor is that there are certain assets or you can say there are cert- there are certain contracts that classify as non current assets that have a fixed legal life in terms of years hmm now what do i mean by this i mean the examples that come under this factor time are patents right purchased by the businesses you can say copyrights or any other licenses that the business 
purchases. Now, what do I mean by patents? Patents in very very simple words what are patents? Patents are certain rights or the licenses given to the inventor of a commodity or an idea or you can also say of a product. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that for instance I have come up with an idea that no one in the market has come up before right. So, this means that I am an inventor of that idea. Now, if I want that idea or that product to be made by just my business under my premises under my with my using my employees only then I can purchase a patent or a right or a license or a copyright from the authorities from the government that will give me that is only me right I will be the sole producer of that product hmm? which will exclude others that is other businesses from making or from selling that same product that same invention under their name for a set period of time right now how this patent works in order to acquire this patent I would have to pay a one time cost right and this would mean that under if, if I purchase a patent this will classify as a non current asset but not a tangible non current asset it would be a it would be an intangible non-current asset right since it is it is just a contract right which gives me a right to produce that product to produce that good to keep that idea under my premises under my name only. Now since it will be a non-current asset and I have paid for this non-current asset so again the same principle will apply that is I would have to distribute its cost for its estimated life for instance if I I want to hold this patent for 5 years then I will accordingly distribute its cost for 5 years right and then for those 5 years I will be recording that as a depreciation of this patent because with time of course its value will decrease and that is how I will show this as an expense in my income statement right. So, what comes under time your, your contracts your copyrights your patents that the business purchase if it wants to keep an idea to its business only right now the only difference uh, that is there in patents is that the that distribution of cost which is called depreciation for the tangible non current assets but since this is an intangible non current asset it would be called amortization but everything else remains same uh, it has a useful life its cost will be distributed and uh, this will come the, the, the amortization or the depreciation will be recorded as an expense under in, in the income statement. Now, let us move to our last factor and that is depletion. Now, what is depletion? Depletion means that if a business is such that it uses natural resources in order to produce goods and services, right? What natural resources? Let us say gold mines, oil wells, or coal mines, etc then the continuous extraction of these natural resources either from the land from the seas that is from the waters will lead to its depletion that is these resources will finish because of their continuous extraction right. So, if a business is such that it is dependent upon natural resources then it has to take this factor that is depletion in its account that if you are just continuously taking 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 from the land from the seas and not giving anything to it then of course there will come a time that these important assets will finish from your region and what can come under such natural resources your gold mines your coal mines your oil wells etc right so this is all about the reasons that we have just covered because of which your assets will depreciate let us revise it quickly in physical deterioration we have covered wear and tear right of machinery of your equipment etc etc then we covered erosion and we covered the rusting and what else the wooden furniture if it gets wrong right in time we covered about patents then in economic factories we covered about obsolescence and we covered about the inadequacy of the non current assets and lastly in depletion we covered about the natural resources right now after this you might be wondering that what is the next step 
right now since the assets are depreciating so what do we do next that is how do we calculate depreciation hmm? in other words what are the methods to calculate depreciation so basically there are three methods which we will be learning about in the future videos inshallah and these are straight line method reducing balance method and revaluation method of depreciation so in the next video we will be learning about our first method and that is straight line method of depreciation right so that's it for this video see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe my channel t accounts take care allah hafiz